Hi, this is my final tag video of 2022 and Vlogmas. <laughs> Today we are doing the Joy of Christmas tag and this was created by Sam's Cozy Corner. As always, links to original tag and questions will be down below. But let's just dive into this because this is also my first year doing this tag as well. I'm going to try and do these tags each Vlogmas to see if my opinions answers change from year to year. Question number one, anticipation. The Christmas excitement is real. What book releases are you most anticipating? Okay, so I'm just gonna load up my Warstones. So Chain of Thorns, I'm in, looking forward to getting because next year we're gonna be finishing off what's currently released from Cassie Clare and that's one book that I'm really excited to get to. I think EOTV book two should be out next year as well. Fingers crossed there's no release date. But I'm I'm a hoping and praying <laughs> that that's gonna be out there. Um Love to Love You, I read all three of the novellas from Ali Hazelwood, but yet again, um I just want the books to be on my shelf. Um shelf, shelf. And I'm hoping that as well as Love Theoretically that's also out next year. Luma Crate do a special edition of the the bind up of all three novellas. Just saying, Lumicre, it could be done. There is Hellbent in this help. I've not read Ninth House. I've just pre ordered Hellbent because I wanted to, because I'm trying a Ninth House and all the Badugo books in hardback. That's it at the moment. I've looked up some releases for next year and I will be doing a video on anticipated releases for next year. I haven't done a proper scour through Waterstones on, on what is out and what. I'm interested in if that makes sense. Hopefully book three um, is out by Stephanie Garber but I doubt that we'll just we'll have to see but yeah the follow-up to the sequel to Once Upon a Broken Heart and Ballad of Never After hopefully next year please Stephanie. Thank you. Question number two Christmas songs and carols what book or author can you not help but sing its praises? Oh god I'm gonna try and think of something different so there's <laughs> Ella McGray, Claire Harmon, Crystal Lender, who is the author of Beast Hunters. I haven't spoken about that book enough. It's literally here. Um, this is a great book. The sequel, I think it's out or coming out soon. Um, and I think this cover is being changed, but this one. Crystal Lender. The usual KJ Sutton, Ryan Cahill, D.W. Ross. I'm going to have to say Travis Baldry. There's John Gwynn. On the side of contemporary, I'm going to... Um, rave about Rosie Dannon. Rosie Dannon, new contemporary autobiography for me. Absolutely. Um, so is Olivia Day, Sarah Hogle, obviously Alan Hazelwood. Tessa Bailey is on my radar after it happened on someone hook, line and sinker. She's, she's up there. But number three, Gingerbread Houses. What book or series has wonderful world building? I am going to be repeating myself so much. But I'm trying to think of books that I have read prior to this year, which is very difficult for me to get my, wrap my head around. Strange Dreamer, that was a book that I read last year, once I got back into, into the flow of reading fantasy. The world building and writing in that is just absolutely beautiful. I'd say Sebastian de Castell, he's not released a book for a while, or it seems like a while, might not actually be a while, but I love the way he builds the world in his books. V Schwab, how can I forget Schwab? World building, character building in general, just amazing. Obviously John Green, without repeating myself, those are, those are the ones. For A Christmas Carol, a favourite classic or one that you want to read? So there's a couple of classics I want to read that I've not had the balls to pick up yet. So there's Jane Eyre, there's Emma that I currently own. I would like to get to Dracula and Sherlock Holmes at some point and maybe Frankenstein but those are the ones that are kind of like on my radar at the top of my classics want to read. Number five, Christmas Sweets. What book would you love to receive for Christmas? I mentioned this in a couple of tag videos, the illustrated version of EOTV. Another one would be A Gathering of Shadows and A Conjuring of Light to finish off my Schwab Dark Shadow of Magic series. My gift to myself is the special edition of Legends and Lattes, <laughs> which hopefully she'll be coming soon. Number six, Candles in the Window. What book gives you warm and fuzzy feelings? I'm not going to pick the same book that I've been picking for all this tag video, but it's going to be one that I have already mentioned, and it is Christmas Horus. And Christmas Horus too, by Tom Fletcher. I really do like these books. These are the kind of books that I could just smash through and just 
cosy up in bed or on the sofa with a mug of hot chocolate or tea and just devour. It's just a really cute cosy book. There's also the Christmas carols. Yeah, those two generally. Other than the ones that you are pretty obvious that I would mention, those two. Number seven, Christmas trees and decorations. What are some of your favourite book covers? Now I've already I've already done this. Um, there's EOTV. I haven't mentioned these covers in a while. The whole series so far of these covers, absolutely stunning. This is a Fortune of Swan series by KJ Sun. Another author that I've not mentioned much of because I've not read his books yet, but an author that I really want to get to as soon as possible, um, is Master of Sorrows. It's the Justin T. Cole and the Master Artificer or Artificer that is up there as well. I really want to get to this author. These are just stunning covers. I'm trying to give you books that I've not already mentioned a number of times. <laughs> Obviously all the fairy books are stunning for the most part other than the most recent one which is Poster Girls which is... Why would you? I don't understand. Um, that makes no sense with the, the in relation to the other books that they've put out but yeah <laughs> those are just a few of my beautiful books. Finally, Christmas Joy, what are some of your favourite things to do about Christmas and or some of your favourite Christmas memories? My favourite things to do at Christmas is I go over to my family's house every single year and I stay overnight Christmas Eve and I open my presents with my family every single year. Even as an adult, I'll go over there um, and then we'll have Christmas dinner together. We don't ever do Christmas dinner out, it's always at my mum's house. I think one year we had it at my sister's, but for the most part my mum will cook Christmas dinner and we'll have Boxing Day at my sister's. Yeah, some of my favourite Christmas memories. We used to do an alternating thing with my cousins in Scotland where we would go up one year, they would come down, but obviously as adults we've um, grown up. My sister's got her boys, um, my eldest cousin Sam has got um, children and she's got a partner so everyone's like gone the separate ways as they've got older which is sad really but it was fun just alternating Christmases with the family in Scotland because they were generally the only family that we had any that we spent any time with any length of time so those are some of my best Christmas memories I think and just yeah keeping up the tradition of spending Christmas with my family I'll I'll always go over Christmas Eve, just chill out with my mum and dad. Go up and watch the boys open their presents in the morning on Christmas Day and then have Christmas dinner with my parents. It's just, it's simple but it's something that, yeah, I just love doing. So, yeah. That is it for the tag videos for this year and I am well on my way to filming editing's a totally different thing but I've filmed quite a few videos now fingers crossed I can get all these videos done for you um but if you do like this video then please like comment subscribe if you don't want to comment anything but you just want to let me know you're here then please just leave a black heart so that I know that you are here and if you would like any if you'd like to recommend any books for me to read and review on my channel then there is a google form below where you can recommend me any book that you think I might like that's maybe one of your favourites um, or that based on my taste you think I might like whether you liked it or not just let me know and yeah I'll see you all very soon Bye. Cold enough to make you shiver but